Team Troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And a lot of people are asking, with the event store being so packed with cool stuff now, if they can get more gold, or if I can do a guide on how to get more gold. Now, there's lots of guides out there, and the two main ways actually remain the same. So the two best ways to get gold are farming the Storm King is the one that I tend to use more often than not, and then the other one is by doing encampments. Okay, that just said I was in a party and I'm not. But still, so what you can do, you can actually do the, uh, the Storm King or you can do encampment. So they're the two ways to do it. Now, I had 6,000 gold when I came back to the game because the cap's been removed and you've got a load of gold because we've got the daily coins that have gone now. So I got all, but I spent the whole 6,000 and just last night alone, I got 3,624 gold. And I was going to buy, I've already got a lot of the heroes. So I've got uh, Sub-Zero Zenith. I've got these three heroes here. Now, Highland Warrior, I was going to, the Highland Warrior Wildcat, I was going to get, which is what this gold was meant to be for. I'm still not certain yet. I might get her later today. She's there for a while, so, you know, there's no rush for that yet. Maybe, you know, let me know in the comments if you want to see a build on her or if some, she's someone you want to use. I was thinking of doing a grenade specialist uh, build anyway because I thought that'd be pretty cool. And it's something that me and uh, Sad from the Discord were talking about. So maybe that's something that we can do. Maybe do a grenade build or compare it to a Master Grenadier build maybe. I don't know. But we'll have a look at that later on. So the two main ways to get gold. The main one that I tend to find is that the Storm King tends to be super fast. So if you've got these this quest unlocked, just go into Canny Valley and just go down to here. Now... Do you know what? People say you need a group. You don't really. You can just jump in. If you just go to, you know, put the match to public like so, just hit select, go in with whatever hero you like. It's so simple and just work through the Storm King. So this won't take all that long. I'm actually going to just jump in now just to show you guys how simple it is. And then we launch in there. So this is a quick way. And then we'll have a look at the rewards that we get at the end. And we'll have a look at the time it takes to actually do it. So we'll do rewards versus time. And then we'll see how we actually get on from there. Okay, so here we are. Looks like we've even started halfway through. This can happen all the time in this kind of quest. You know what? It helps if I put the right gun on. I usually go for like an old Betsy or a bundle bus uh, that we put into here. I have got one somewhere. There we go. The old Betsy's pretty cool. So here we are. So I was going to start from now. So that's when I've just started the clock from, even though we're, we're technically inside. But there we go. So let's just get that shot. There we go. Gotta love an old Betsy. The face shift is pretty cool on this one because with face shift, you, if you use the face scout like we did earlier, you can just phase around the other side all the time, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice. There we go. Let's just get in with the pickaxe. Pop war cry. There we go. Just to make that a little bit better. Faster. Schnell, schnell. Damn it. I was getting a bug the other day, whereas every time that I tried to get near the Storm King, it pushed me back. I don't mean like he's doing now with the knockback. I mean, it was just being, just being ridiculous, but still. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, you don't always get into a mission halfway through, but often this happens. So if you look in there, Storm King's gone down now, and that was probably under a minute. <laughs> Now, if you're in with a group, you're going to be starting from the start all the time. If you just go into private mode and just work your way through, what actually happens is you can sometimes get into games like that. And your rewards are going to be no less. So if we have a look there, I mean, that probably took us less than a minute. At this point, if I stop the clock now, about 1 minute 10. And let's have a look what we actually got from that. Good combat score, me, 55. <laughs> look, it doesn't matter. We were there, right? I hit, I hit the thing. I mean, that was over, like, so fast. So let's just have a look at what rewards we actually got then. So looking at the rewards... Okay, so we joined halfway through. And we got... So we got 92 gold that we got from that. So that's pretty decent. And uh, what else did we get? We get a lot of, like, evolution maps as well. So look, we get some reperk. But think about that. 92 gold in under a minute. Loads of reperk. We're getting all these evolution maps that we're getting now. This is just nuts. Okay, so now, if we go into the map and we start farming the encampments, which is the way, the old way to do this, which is the way I used to do it. I think the highest one down here is an 88, which is down here. So if we just jump in and do this one as well. I mean, the Storm King, really, I was doing them last night. I was taking less than, I was probably taking, the max I took on the Storm King was about three minutes. That's it. It was that fast. So about three, three minutes, four, if some, do you know what? Even if something went wrong. Okay, so we've started then. So we're about 50 seconds in from where I'm starting it. So we can add 50 seconds to whatever timer I just get. Okay, probably not a fair assumption really because <laughs> we're getting sidetracked. You know what? I still love the Spectre. It's still so good. Bundle bus for these. 
What you find with encampments is as well, there's more that can go wrong. Because a lot of the time you'll find you'll get people that are trying to leech and stuff like that from you. So they won't actually always do the mission. They'll just sit and wait on the start. I know this AFK thing's in progress, but still. All right, so, so far, so good. So this is the next encampment then. So we've been in the mission about a minute and a half so far. Well, that's not cool. All right, but we're still doing okay. So we've actually got this, I think. We've got this pretty much locked down. I absolutely love... Do you know what? I liked first shot reel before, as you guys know, but even more so now. <laughs> Here we go. Damn it. And I've had to change all the hotkeys back to my original uh, my original formation. Let's pop war cry. Let's make some let's make some stuff happen, right? <laughs> I was just looking for where he is, right? This is number three. God damn it, we're stuck. Alright, grenade to the floor. I'm currently doing up um, a rat king and a pain train as well to actually use with Rio, which I think might be really useful. There we go, that's the next one. So we've been in about three minutes. Now, by now, we would have done the Stone King, so the gold benefit needs to be way, way better. Okay, so Warcry pops, and in we go again. <laughs> I mean, if you've got something like a Noble, obviously that's going to work. There we go, that's four. Oh, I could hear the Taker, but I couldn't see it. We got it still. All right, so here we go. And we've got Warcry back up in no time at all. So we've got Warcry back in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that just takes nothing. Okay, Warcry back up then for the second wave. With encampments with Rio, every second wave, you tend to have it back. That is just crazy. I mean, encampments have never been so easy, right? I mean, as they are right now. So there is that. I mean, if this gives off more gold per minute, then, do you know, we're going to be laughing. Whoa! Okay, so we're about six minutes in then, and we've got our first super encampment. Just because, why not, right? Oh, I see him. He's coming in. Where did he go? We just glitched out. <laughs> so many bugs, damn it. Okay, I wish we saw him die that time. So here we go. So we just take all these out. I mean, as I said, we're about just over six minutes in so far. What I love about this is just got such a short max size that it just does absolutely crazy damage. Silent Spectre is still a great gun. Oh my god, look at all this lot that I need. Oh, okay, so we got a... <laughs> Alright, so we got double takers there. We're okay though, we're good. Okay, let's war cry this up. Oh, just laying waste. Oh, we got, we got someone down. I got him. I think it was probably the taker that got him. Here we go. Sniper 165, you're alive. Oh, I saw the taker go up. Wow, is this it? <laughs> Are we done? Take a trauma. Wow, there's like a lot of like straggles on this one. There we go. Okay, so reload, war cry, and let's just unleash hell. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a lot of these. Alright, good. Let's pop the heal. There you go, grenade in. Okay, that should be the last of them. So, there we go. So, that took... I'm going to stop the clock there. So, 10 minutes and 45 seconds that I got that down at. Okay, so being generous then, I'm going to say that that took 10 minutes. It took slightly over, but we're going to say you can do an encampment in about 10 minutes. If you had a team there and you were with the, your own team, then you'd probably do better with that. So, you got 114 gold in 10 minutes. Did we get any more for it than that? Let's have a look. See, any other one? Because you get the danger in the mist, so you get the reaper, which is great. So we've got Killer Storm. So we've got another 100. So that's 214 gold that we got from there. And then we've got another... Have we got any more gold in this? No, we do not. So 214 gold in total. 
Okay then, so let's summarize then. I work out that the Storm King will get you roughly around 25 gold per minute so somewhere between 23 and 30 gold so you're looking at about i'm gonna i'm gonna put an average in there you're gonna get about 25 gold per minute if you just farm the storm king now if you do encampments which is great they do take a little bit longer but if you can get the encampment done under 10 minutes then you're going to be getting about 20 to 21 gold per minute as well so there's much of a muchness really i think the storm king is still slightly faster if you've got that available to you if not then you know encampments are going to be the way to go if you can do the encampments even quicker if you can get the encampments down to way under 10 minutes so if you could get them, them encampments done in say eight minutes for example or even sooner then yeah you know then you're probably looking at the encampments are better but you know what the much of a much must i would say mix it up do what you enjoy uh, if you just sit farming the storm king like i did last night it can be pretty mind-numbing um i've played a lot of grindy games in the past before so i don't really mind it uh, do you know i used to play destiny i played world of warcraft uh, i've even played like some of the old mmos you know that you used to have where there was a lot more grinding in them so i'm used to that kind of thing so i didn't mind i was just doing the storm king last night and it took me pro i probably had a good couple of hours at it and i got quite a lot of gold from that but i would suggest if you're going to do this and you want a gold farm for a day mix it up maybe do the storm king two two three storm kings then maybe do a couple of encampments do it that way and again my best advice would be make sure that you do that with friends you know if you're farming gold farm with friends because it's always much much better Okay, guys, I hope this has helped. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are one of the troops, make sure you drop me a like, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.